Okay, so, so something interesting about this book is the language. And so in terms of grade leveling, language is really, is really a struggle. And that's because in first and second grade, we hope by that time most students have mastered the syllabic patterns and the syllabic, um, the syllabic fluency of Spanish. Those are, those are traditionally the mame, mi, mo, mu, pape, pi, po, pu, sa, se, si, so, su, and some of the blends, bla, ble, bli, blo, blue, right? So um, at that time, they should, they should, in theory, be mastered. And so um, what, we will, what you'll see here is multisyllabic words, which really does um, caution, make people feel cautious about using them in first grade, but that's where we really wanna push kids, and that's where we wanna use pictures to support them. Okay. So, um, so in this book, this is Cantos y Rondas de Mamita Clara. It's a beautifully illustrated book. Um, the illustrations really support the, the poetry. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Um, it's of the Niño y Madre. I really should show that for Mother's Day. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, and it's actually a song, I think. And so I wanted to share with you Pepito Se Come Su Papa because that's a great one for addressing the early, early syllabic sounds. All right, so Pepito se come su papa. Pepito se come su papa para que no se enoje papa. Y Papito se fuma su pipa y la Pepe se pone a pintar. This is an incredible, incredible poem for kids still working on their syllables. And it's so, it's a great one. It's a great one for kids who need, who need that um, review but it's also just a great one for fluency and for practicing fluency. So this is a first and second grade level book and how you would use it in your classroom with your different kids depends on the kid. So that's why we always need to start our lesson planning from the child. We can't start our lesson planning from the book. We can start our lesson planning from the child and, and the um, standard, but beyond that, we really, we really can't move forward. So let's, let's know the direction we're going in, let's know the themes that we're gonna use, and then let's focus on the kid. So maybe with some kids, you would use this to really um, emphasize the different syllables, and with other kids, you'd use it for fluency and for them developing their, their ability to really sing, sing, sing how they read, right? Um, so this is one example, and then, uh, in the back of the in the back of it is the different oh is the different music for them so if you are a music teacher this is an amazing or if you're musical at all which I am not this is an amazing amazing resource for you so I hope today you find paradise you open yourself you open a book and you open yourself to a whole nother world